Today I wanted to briefly talk about microscopy, that when we consider that the structures that make up your body are not often seen, that these cells are made of smaller structures called organelles, which themselves are made of even smaller structures, and when you finally zoom in a lot, you finally see the subatomic structure, the atoms, and smaller particles that make them up. These are not often apparent to us, that uh, on our scale of experience, we can see large structures in the scale of meters to centimeters, but smaller structures require different objects, uh, different levels of magnification to be able to see. We can see cell structures using a light microscope, but to see smaller structures like viruses or even certain molecules, we need to use an electron microscope that is using a different source of radiation to examine specimens. That these electron microscopes offer you far greater magnification. This is the surface of a leaf under a light microscope. This is uh, these structures here called stomata magnified to a far greater degree with this electron microscope image on the right side. They also offer a far greater resolution. The electron microscope image uh, gives you levels of detail that cannot be seen in this light microscope image of a radiolarian that is a freshwater organism that builds the shell around itself. Although this organism is relatively large, it can be seen with a light microscope. You can't see that much detail with a light microscope, but with an electron microscope, you can see details of the shell that are simply not apparent otherwise. There are two types of electron microscope. The transmission electron microscope transmits a beam of electrons through the image, creating this very flat 2D look. The scanning electron microscope scans the, uh, the electrons over the surface, giving you a 3D appearance of these yeast cells, which can be seen here with relatively little detail under a light microscope, but far greater detail using the electron microscope, either the flat image with the transmission electron microscope or the 3D image with the scanning electron microscope. You can see that the electron microscope is a lot larger than the uh, light microscope here, that the light microscope uses a light beam that shines through the sample and generates the image in the eye of the viewer. There is no way for you to detect a stream of electrons, so a computer does the reception of this sample here, uh, that uh, the electron beam from an electron gun is shone through a flat sample in the transmission electron microscope, generating the 2D image. The 3D image is uh, generated in the scanning electron microscope by, again, shining the beam over the surface of the sample, and all of these beams are captured to build up this image in a computer. There are some uh, disadvantages and advantages to each method that, yes, electron microscopes give you greater magnification and greater resolution than the light microscope would, but the images you generate are black and white, that they have to be uh, effectively photoshopped in a computer to generate the colors we saw on the previous pages, that uh, the electrons do not themselves have a color, and as a result, the images are only in black and white. They're also gigantic and uh, expensive, more than a million dollars for some uh, exotic types, and they are large and cumbersome to uh, use and to set up as well. The preparation can involve spraying with heavy metals, uh, they can involve slicing the specimen very thinly, fixing it in plastic, as well as examining in a vacuum, so all of the specimens are very dead. You cannot examine living specimens in this microscope, in this electron microscope, at all. Just a brief summary of the two types of microscopy available to us in biology.